Aluminium ion batteries promise super fast charging, safer chemistry, and cheap materials. So are they ready to replace lithium ion in electric vehicles? Let's break it down simply. Hello everyone, I'm Shayan, an engineer specialist in electric vehicle development. What is an aluminium ion battery? Instead of lithium shuttling in and out of electrodes, aluminium ions move between an aluminium metal anode and a carbon-based or other host cathode. The electrolyte is often an ionic liquid that lets aluminium plate and strip smoothly. So why people are so excited about it? It's abundant and low-cost metal. Aluminium is everywhere and easy to recycle. Aluminium also has high volumetric capacity at the anode. In theory, aluminium can carry a lot of charge per volume. Also, aluminium has safety potential. Certain electrolytes are less flammable and aluminium plating can be more stable. The next pro is power and speed. Lab cells have shown very fast charge and discharge, hinting at minutes, not hours. So what is the big hurdles today? The energy density. Current aluminum ion prototypes typically store much less energy per kilogram than modern lithium ion batteries. That means heavier packs or shorter range. Aluminum batteries also have low cell voltage. Many chemistries sit near 2 volts versus 3.6 to 3.7 volts for lithium ion, which hurts overall energy. It also has some electrolyte issues. Some ionic liquids can be corrosive and moisture sensitive, complicating manufacturing and maintenance. There are some other cons, like durability at scale. Nice cycle life on small test cells doesn't always translate to automotive size modules and packs. Thermal control, uniformity, and lifetime still needs proving. And for the last one, no mass adoption yet. As of now, no mainstream EV ships with aluminum ion traction packs. What would aluminum ion be good for first? High power, short range duty cycles. Think buses, shuttles, forklifts, campus fleets that can opportunity charge frequently. Stationary storages. Fast charge or discharge and safety could be great for grid buffering, where energy density matters less than power and longevity. Okay, for now, lithium ion have higher energy density, proven manufacturing, wide charging network, known aging behavior. And on the other hand, we have aluminum ion packs, promising safety and power, but energy density and industrial readiness are not yet competitive. Bottom line, aluminum ion is exciting, especially for safety and fast charging. But for long-range EVs, lithium ion still wins today. Expect aluminum ion to appear first in niche vehicles or stationary storage, with road car traction packs only if energy density and manufacturing scale makes a leap.